Okay, I said, I know I promised no more videos, but I'm going to create one more video just to walk you through where I ended up with my model. Um, so this is the uh, the final version, the version that I'm going to, I'm happy with today. It uh, crosses off all of my uh, dots in my um, reading notes, the, the things that I wrote in good notes on my iPad. And um, what I ended up with, this is something that I've been using recently, is going with a bold connector arrow to kind of underscore the main model and then having the thinner lines branch off of different nodes based on um, details that I want to include but that don't actually help me just visually narrow in on what the actual model is. So what I determined was that unselfconscious interaction is an HCI design method that achieves goodness of fit um, when it's designed for purposeful purposelessness. And when it's designed for purposeful purposelessness, that allows for unselfconscious interaction to occur. So I actually figured out in my um, zettling that there was a bit of a cycle here. I don't know if that's actually true, but that's how my brain, um, my brain, you know, made it happen. So uh, that's what I, um, that's what I was trying to visualize here. And then I um, ended up having goodness of fit. So one thing that I did was I put in quotes things that were specific to, like they, they were actual terms of use. Um, so uh, goodness of fit um, requires open-endedness and, and this quality of lived with. Um, and design, this honestly I think is kind of arbitrary. I could have put it in either way, but this is what I ended up with. Design requires these five things that Wackery um, notes, resource, adaptation, ensemble, time, and anonymity. And what I did to kind of really solidify those is I created, um, you know, different words here to, to annotate, you know, it's designed with anonymity, it's among an ensemble, it uses resources to help kind of solidify those concepts for me. I put the examples um, from the article up here. Um, and uh, and I ended up zettling. Everything you see with this little card catalog looking icon is a zettle. So if we look at goodness of fit, this is the zettle I created for it. It's kind of a large one, but we could look at something that's equally as important, purpose, purposelessness, and that's fairly succinct. Um, and so I have zettles for all sorts of things. Sometimes I use bold words. Um, sometimes I don't, and for every ZL, I include the citation. I also thought that I would um, show you down here that I uh, created my little summary for the theory on the main level, and I also filled in my um, my bio of Ron Wackery and included uh, a collaboration with Will Odom, which I didn't realize until I read more about him, and I already have Will Odom in my um, my slow tech stuff. Um, so I guess that's about it. Um, thanks again for listening.